Tifu by vaping during a video interview. I had been preparing for this interview for weeks and was feeling confident going into it. I had my notes ready, my resume printed out, and my camera turned on. But as soon as the interview started, my nerves got the best of me. The interviewer and other members of the team were discussing matters that were not relevant to my position, and I found myself getting restless. To distract myself, I started reading through my notes. In the midst of all this, I completely forgot that my camera was still on, and out of stress, I reached for my vape and took a puff. It was only when the interviewer asked me a question and I couldn't find my vape that I realized my mistake. I had been vaping on camera the entire time. I tried to play it off, saying that it was just a habit, but the damage had been done. I could see the disappointment and disapproval on the interviewer's face. Needless to say, I did not get the job. DLDR, vaped my way out of a job interview. The opportunity evaporated. I had several video interviews during the middle of last year and put my vape in a different room as I knew I'd do it automatically if it was I'm reach. I was on the opposite end once my job is WFH, so I was interviewing a candidate through video call. Out of habit, not a good one, admittedly. During the interview when he was responding I used my vape immediately apologized to the interviewee, and thankfully they laughed it off. We ended up hiring the guy, and later he said, well, when I saw you took a hit of your vape, I figured it was a more relaxed environment, so it was kind of a good thing. While in the pandemic, my uni had all the classes online via Microsoft Teams. One day, after class, when everyone disconnected, I put down my headphones. I'll tab and forget to disconnect. Well, my professor and me were the only one left, for some reason everyone had to disconnect before him. My professor tried to get my attention while I patiently rolled and lit up a fatty raffle. When I finally look at the team's tab he was laughing his ass off. I got white as a ghost, immediately disconnected. Nothing much came of it. But he did joke about it in the next class so now everyone knows I'm a pothead and suddenly I'm asked to go to a lot more parties rawful. L. Yay we just fired a guy for vaping in the office while management and property owners were touring the building. What is up with people who vape lol? WFH. Once I interviewed a guy who was sipping on beer the entire meeting. I think it was even before noon. Needless to say, the interview didn't last long and we didn't hire him. L L Don't feel bad. I changed my Zoom profile name while playing an online game with my friends. I had a video interview the next day and forgot to change it beforehand. When I joined the call, I was horrified to see the name Tits McGee pop up under my face. I did not get the job. Your big chance went up in smoke. L. Are we talking about a weed vape or just regular vape? The trick is to put the things you don't want in end camera out of reach before the interview. I really liked having a half glass of wine before an interview but you bet that glass went on the windowsill out of reach and sight before I signed in. Same with my phone. Lol this reminds me of when a coworker of mine would smoke on the Zoom call meetings. I always thought it was really unprofessional. This is even funnier if it was a dab pen. My take. Not intrinsically wrong, but it does show lack of restraint. If you can't not vape when you should be at your very best, it puts doubt on you in any other situation. They're only thinking of the 12-10 minute breaks smokers and vapors take during the day. How they stink up the office. And how much more they cost in healthcare and lost time. Yikes. Quit. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling through your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.